how you doing today? So today we're gonna learn the forward stroke and the back stroke. Your goals for the forward stroke are speed and efficiency. Use the forward stroke to maneuver through rapids, boof over rocks, paddle through waves, surf into waves, all kinds of things. So what we wanna do with the forward stroke is the first things we think about our what is our body doing we're going to start by sitting up straight good posture so when you're sitting up straight and you're paddling forward you also want to notice that you're going to be rotating your torso and you're going to be rotating at 45 degrees each way a good way to practice is by doing this the other thing you want to do when you're practicing is look where you're going. You always want to be looking where you're going and having your eyes in the direction you're moving. So whether you're turning or you're going straight, you always want to be focused on your target. So just be mindful of where you're looking. Also, you want to make sure that when you're rotating your torso, you aren't doing this and looking each way. You won't really have a good sense of direction if you're doing that. So we want to make sure that we're always, our head's stationary while our torso is moving. So another thing you want to think about is what's my boat doing when I'm paddling? And my boat is staying flat. So keep your boat flat. If you're rocking it, that could lead to you flipping on a weird eddy line or a weird current line that we're keeping our boat flat. We also want to make sure that our boat's not moving side to side too much. So we can prevent that by matching our paddle stroke while we're paddling, which leads me to my next point. So now we want to talk about our paddle. So we want our paddle to be pretty vertical. Our, our top hand wants to be extended. So when we're paddling, we want to put our paddle in at our toes and take it out at our hips. If we go past our hips, you'll essentially pull your boat down in the water. So we want to start at our toes and end at our hips. So let me demonstrate quick. We want to look forward, we want to rotate our torso, and we want to paddle forward. So in at the toes, out at the hips. In at the toes, out at the hips. In at the toes, out at the hips. So again, we'll do it. In at the toes, out the hip. In at the toe, out the hip. And as you start moving, you can start gaining speed. And you realize it comes easier. So, those are very important things to notice. So let's recap a little bit. We want our head to be looking where we're going. From our head down, we want our torso to be rotating at a 45 degree angle for each stroke. Now, the other thing to remember is if you're just using your arms on your strokes and not rotating your torso, your arms are going to get a lot more tired than they normally do. So we want to make sure we're definitely incorporating our torso because those muscles are bigger. After our torso, our paddle, our paddle is going to be vertical for each stroke. And we want to put it in our toes and take out our hips. From there, we go to our boat. It's going to stay flat and we aren't going to rock it back and forth to avoid flipping on an unintentional current. So we're gonna put in our toes out the hips, in the toe, out the hips. And we're just gonna keep on moving. Now the next thing we wanna talk about is our backstroke. So our backstroke it's pretty much the same thing as our forward stroke. The same, you put it in at your hips and you take it out your toes. The reason for a backstroke is when you're paddling up to a rapid, you know, you want to look at it, or you see something coming that you don't want to hit, you can paddle backwards quickly. And it's going to be the same idea. You're going to put it in at your hips and up to your toes. But another good thing is you're paddling forward so much of the time that it helps uh, kind of counteract what your muscles do going forwards and helps build up the backward stroke muscles. This will help you down the road when you've been paddling for a long time uh, in life. So, so our backward stroke, 
let me turn around here. So we're gonna go in at the hip, out the toes, in at the tip, out the toes. And again, you can pick a point out in front of you. You can pick a point out in front of you in order to stay straight. But also be mindful, every few strokes, you should probably look backwards to make sure you aren't gonna run into anything. So, in at the hips, out the toes. In at the hips, out the toes. So, same thing. Your head stays pointed at, you know, your target in front of you or turn back to look where you're going. Your torso is still rotating to use your bigger muscles. And your boat's gonna stay straight and flat as we go backwards. Hope you enjoyed this and thank you.